Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've actually got nothing. So, uh, Justice League issue number 27 review. Welcome to Joe's Geek Show, a video series where we talk comics and Justice League issue number 27, written by James Tinney in the fourth, with art by Javier Fernandez and Bruno Redondo, with colors by Hi-Fi and letters by Tom Napolitano. And so in this issue, Martian Manhunter, he actually wakes up in a tube, kind of similar experience to what he had as a child when he was a prisoner of Lionel Luther. And after asking a bunch of questions, he eventually breaks out and comes to find that the Lionel Luther that captured him is not actually the real Lionel Luther. Instead, he is a robot. A robot that is then revealed to be the work of one Dr. Ivo. And since we have a Dr. Ivo story, that means we get a Mazo in the story also. And while all this is going on, we have the rest of the League on a planet called Nil being led by the World Forger as the League is trying to get the assistance of the Monitor in hopes that they can build a force powerful enough to take on Perpetua. And although the Monitor agrees to join the League, he says that to really be successful, we're gonna need the help of the Anti-Monitor. And then we go back to the story of Martian Manhunter where Hawkgirl actually manages to locate John. She breaks in, She they fight a ton of different amazos and during the battle they find that ivo is attempting to take the dna from martian manhunter and merge it with human dna therefore creating what is known as the apex predator i.e perpetua's army of death hawk girl and martian manhunter manage to get out of the house just as it's going ablaze and in that moment a little mini legion of doom just kind of meanders onto the scene projecting a hologram of the newly reborn lex luther who shows up to make john an offer What's that offer? Well, we'll probably find out in the next issue. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed this issue. I love the mystery that is surrounding these offers, because across all of the DC books, Lex Luthor's just going to people like Red Hood, Captain Cold, John Jones, and so on, saying, offer, offer, offer. And of course, I'm curious what the offer is going to entail, and also why Lex Luthor would be picking some people over others, because, you know, he's choosing to make the offer to Martian Manhunter. Now, in previous issues of Justice League, we know that Martian Manhunter and Lex Luthor actually do have a bit of a connection from when they were children. And maybe in the back of Lex Luthor's mind, he's thinking, you know, okay, I did consider him a friend at one point, let's extend a helping hand. Or if they just manage to turn him to the dark side, they'll have a powerful telepath. So there's always that too. As far as the rest of the Justice League go, I think it's really cool that they're getting the help of the Monitor and soon, hopefully, the Anti-Monitor to give them a helping hand, especially since the Anti-Monitor has caused quite a few problems in the past. So I will say, intriguing and interesting story, good art, good colors. I'm going to say that Justice League issue number 27 gets the cool silver medal. So Justice League issue number 27, have you read this one? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I'd love it if you'd smash that like button, share it with some friends, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and ring that notification bell for more comic book content. Alright, take care, have a great day, and as always, stay geeky.